Hey guys, so today I have a quick tip on how to use multiple split screens for different windows and applications on Windows 10. So for example, you might already know about their built-in split screen. If you click and drag a window that you have open to the left or right side of the screen, it splits it right down the middle. And then you choose your second application or window and it makes it even on both sides. You can click and drag the center line when you hover over it. You can resize both those windows very easily and quickly. It's super useful. I use this feature a lot. Um, Mac has something very similar. Um, but what you can do now with Windows, if I make them different sizes again, I have a special application that I will show you about and I'll show you how to install it. But if you click and drag on a window and click or hold shift, then now I can choose a zone that I want this window to go in. So I'll choose one and I will choose two for this one. I will click and drag this one to three and I click and drag this one to four. Cool. So you can do it to as many windows as you want and you can actually create these different zones. So let me show you how it works, okay? The application is called Fancy Zones, or sorry, the application is called Power Toys and the feature is called Fancy Zones. So for example, let me get these out of your way. Hope you like that bio mutant picture in the background. Um, so here is Fancy Zones. Inside of Fancy Zones, you must make sure it's enabled with the on button. Launch Layout Editor. This is the most important part. Um, to launch the Layout Editor without using Power Toys, the application, you can hit Windows Shift L. Um, I think you can change this. Yeah, you can change what you want that to be. But Windows Shift L is, I think, the default. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, you can do that. Um, but only shortcuts with the following hotkeys are valid. Windows key, Control key, Alt key, and Shift key. So I don't change many of these settings. I just left them as they are. Um, but if you want to, you can switch them. We can go over some of them later. But Launch Layout Editor, this is the most important part. So as you see, my active layout right now is this one that's highlighted in blue. Um, if I were to click a different one, it changes the active layout. See, you can see it change. now. If I go into this layout and click the pencil, you can see the settings for this. So you can change the name of it if you want to. Go to layout shortcut, click the uh, or hover over the eye, and you can see the shortcut for this layout. So you can change layouts in mid workflow. Um, to do that, you would hit the Windows key, the Control key, the Alt key, and the number that is selected here. So that's quite a lot of keys to hit to change the layout. So, I mean, you can do that. You might even be able to change that if you want. I'm not sure, um, but I or I would make some type of keyboard macro to hit all those buttons at the same time instead um, to make it easier. But whatever, that's a whole nother video. But yeah, um, yeah, so you can make shortcuts, which is pretty cool. Um, if you don't use the shortcut, you just have to come in manually and then click the one that you want, which is what I do. Um, so edit zone layout. This is the most important part right here. You can change the zones, you can create zones. So uh, if you want to make a new zone, you just move your cursor inside of one and you click. It does snap to the center of where another zone is. So sorry, not the center, but it snaps to another edge of a zone that's already um, here. So I'll click and there we go. I can make another one, um, go here. And you do have to look at the numbers if you want to make them perfectly even. You need to click and drag and watch those numbers and do a little bit of math. Um, however, it's not that bad. And let's say, and look, it snapped right there again, see? So let's say that I have too many now, right? I have too many. And I want to merge these. To merge, you can click and drag across zones. So let's do this. I'll click and drag. And now when I let go, there's a little merge zones button that comes up. There we go. I'll do it again. And look, I can merge those. I can merge these. Let's see if I can do more than one at a time. One, two, and three merge boom do all of them at the same time that's pretty awesome let's see if i can merge all of these into one merge zones boom one big one start over <laughs> that's pretty cool i never did that before um all right but i'm not going to save it i will hit cancel because i already um have it saved the way i want um but what's this splitter hold shift key for vertical split oh i see so look at that that's actually really cool too i just learned that so if you want to make another vertical split change the direction, you can hold shift and it changes that. So you can just split a lot. Wow, that's really cool. All right, well, cancel. <laughs> All right, there you go. So now you know how to use the editor and I will X out of this part. And let's go down. Let's just look at these a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, some of these I wouldn't even really click on or off. Hold shift key to activate zones while dragging. Yeah, so that one is the one that I have. Hold shift key. So if I want to bring it to a zone, I will hold shift. And then that's the, the thing I do to make it work. Cool. Um, show, oh, use a non-primary mouse button to toggle zone activation. That's actually really cool too. So I guess enabling it, you can use a non-primary mouse button as well. Um, zone, show zones on all monitors while dragging a window. So, for example, if I have my other monitor here, um, which you can't see right now, but um, it's not showing up on my second monitor. But I guess if I click that, let's see. Yeah, it shows up what zones I have on my other monitor as well. Change the colors if you want. Some nice little appearance features down here. Um, to exclude an application from snapping to zones, add its name here. That's pretty interesting. So I've never done that before. Maybe we can go over some of these features uh, in another video if you guys would want that. If you would like to see that, going over these in more detail, please leave a comment. Um, but otherwise, I think this is pretty simple. You just run it and then launch the editor and then save what you want and use it. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, so it's called Power Toys. Don't forget, Fancy Zones is the feature. And I will show you the application right now to go get. So it's on the link in my description below. This is the release 0.37.2. On this release page, go down, look for the exe file. This is important. This is the executable file. It will install it. So click the download. I have already downloaded it. You can see it right here. Once you download it, just install it. I think you know how to run the installer. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just install it in its default location. And that's it. Then you just run the application Power Toys. All right. So, yeah. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you thought I was annoying or didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And don't forget to sub if you want more content or tips and tricks. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Dude out.